Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today I'm going to show you how to install and self-host AdGuard Home on Docker using Portainer. We will be using a version of AdGuard that blocks advertisements before they are served to client devices on your home network. AdGuard Home is an alternative to Pi Hole. It is a network-wide software for blocking ads and tracking at the DNS level. Like Pi Hole, after you set it up, it'll cover all of your home devices without any client software. In this tutorial we will be using the official AdGuard Home Docker container on the Docker Hub. It is a lightweight container that supports many different system architectures. If you have any suggestions for more application tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on new tutorials that are posted to this channel. The first thing you need to do is log in to your Portainer dashboard. The data that is generated by AdGuard Home is not vital, so instead of mapping the volumes to folders on our system, I am going to use standard Docker volumes. You can create standard Docker volumes in Portainer by clicking on volumes in the left menu. Once you see the volume list, click on Add Volume. We need to create two volumes for AdGuard Home. The first volume will be for the container's data files. We will call this container AdGuard underscore data. After you type the name of the volume, click on Create the Volume. This will bring you back to the volume list. Click on Add Volume again to add the second volume. The second volume will be used for the AdGuard configuration files. We will call this container AdGuard underscore config. Click on Create the Volume. Since we've created all of our volumes, we can go back to our container list. Now we're ready to create the container. Click on Add Container. We will call this container AdGuard Home. The Docker image is located at AdGuard slash AdGuard Home. For the basic installation of AdGuard Home you need to publish three ports. The first port is going to be TCP port 53. This port is used for DNS queries. The second port is going to be UDP port 53. This port is also used for standard DNS queries. Next, we will expose port 80. Finally, we will expose port 3000. This is the port that we will use to access the AdGuard Home dashboard. Now it is time to add our volumes. First, we will add the AdGuard data volume that we created at the beginning of the video. In the container, this volume will map to slash opt slash AdGuard Home slash work. Now we can select our AdGuard data volume from the drop down menu. Next, we will add the AdGuard config volume that we created. In the container, this volume will map to slash opt slash AdGuard home slash conf. In the screen recording, I clicked on the incorrect volume, make sure you click on the config volume that you created at the beginning of the video. Next, we will select our restart policy. If this container should stop for any reason, you will no longer be able to look up DNS queries from your client devices. Because of this, we will select our restart policy to be unless stopped. This will help make sure that the container is always running. Now we can click on the deploy the container button. This could take a while depending on the speed of your system and the speed of your internet connection. Once the download and extraction of the container is completed, you will see it on your Portner dashboard. It is best to check the logs to make sure that the container started up properly. The container has started successfully if the log says that AdGuard Home is available on the following addresses. We will replace 127.0.0.1.3000 with the IP address of our Docker host in order to access the dashboard. Here we are at the AdGuard Home dashboard. We'll go ahead and click on Get Started. All of these settings are fine as listed. We can go ahead and click Next. Now we can set up our username and password for our dashboard. After you finish, click Next. This screen will guide you in configuring the devices on your home network to point to your new AdGuard installation. There are different ways to do this, the way I prefer is to set my router DHCP server to configure the DNS settings on my devices to point to my Azure home installation. 
Once you finish setting up your client devices you can click Next. This will complete the setup process. Click on Open Dashboard. Enter the username and password that you created during the setup process and click Sign In. From this dashboard, you will be able to see the various DNS queries that are passed through your network. You will also see the clients on your network and the websites that are being blocked. And that's all there is to it. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.